We're back. All right, more cube chaos. Perk chest. But if you have more than one life, lose one. Ooh. What is this? Upgrade your perks. I'm going to go to that. Let's go do that. Select your cubes. We have all of the cubes. So now I'm out of space. All right. What was this new one? The heal. This army is good to get down. Crystal wall every 10 seconds. Heal all touching allies for one HP. I'm trying to do heal things, not you. You. Hmm. Okay. Do I just send dwarfs? The ice rune is interesting. To every touching enemy in neutral. Every three seconds. I am tempted to get a fly out again. I think I'm going to do that. Just so that it starts healing before you shoot anything at me. Yellow moss. Every 30 seconds, create yellow moss to either side of this. Every 20 seconds, this heals a random damage ally. Every second, if there's a cube above this, deal one damage to this, and it regens. So this is like self-healing and heals others. Flies are interesting. Okay, why aren't you getting healed? You will get healed. Just give it time. I am tempted to keep trying to do this army thing. The fly would live now if my army attacks it. Would it? It would. All right, attack it. Good stuff. Oh, and they heal it. What was that? Duality laser. Every two seconds, create a duality beam in front. Laser. Every tick, the cube in front will heal one HP if it's an ally or take one damage otherwise, and this dies. If empty, replicate in that direction. Before this dies, exile this. So that does nothing to a fly. Which kind of sucks. Like, if I had an ice block in front, I might put an ice block in front. Huh. What is this one? Every three seconds, create a laser beam in front. Laser beam. Take one damage. Cube in front. Again, I could put the fly... I don't have much. I guess it's... One damage is good for me. I do want more healers. I can heal this for free, too. Well, not for free, but for three mana. Yeah, let's go ahead and heal it. Now it has seven max HP. Heal it. Now it has 9 max HP. And I could just keep healing it. It does cost mana, but this becomes a large ally. Okay, this heal spell is broken for what I have. How's my fly doing? Fly is doing great. And we're gaining a little bit of regen. Not really, but a little bit. It does cost me a little bit of mana when I do that, but overall, not that much. What is this? Crystal wall. Mana battery. Mana storage 40. After this is created, gain 40 max mana. After this dies, oh, lose that much. Yellow moss. So they have lots of regen, but they don't have much HP. Another crystal wall. I'm just going to create a super knight. Super knight. Using these little heals is good, but if I can just get down the heal block, then I get unlimited healing, kind of. Good stuff. 
We will climb that. This only has 2 HP. Duality laser. I don't really care about that, but you don't have that much HP. You do. Oh, can I st I can heal on this side of their battle. Weird. Very weird. Okay, we killed that laser. Fly is still, like, invincible. I can't climb two blocks, which kind of worked for me. They have another laser. I should be using these to fight that. Get the heal. Okay, let's heal you. Heal you again. Cool. We're fighting that thing. It just killed one of my little knights. Other knight is doing well, though. Super knights. Super knights are the way to go. Their damage doesn't really increase, but that's okay. We've done things. Select a cube. Lava gargoyle. Every 30 seconds, create lava in front of it. That could be good. Maybe. Every three seconds, heal every ally in the shield area in front of this for one HP. Down laser. Every two seconds, creates a Diagonal down laser beam in front. If I could build in the sky, that sounds good. I want to try this lava thing. Okay, let's come here. Ancient blessing. Or residual. Can I click this? Does this upgrade all three of them? 20% chance it gains that much HP. 1% chance to grant allies in your hand with same name that much max HP. It costs 120 to upgrade it. I didn't realize it would cost anything. After an ally heals another non-leader ally, the healed one. So before it was after a leader. So I would gain lots of regen. Huh. Okay. Those would have been nice. Those would have been really nice. Oh well. That was a wasted space. But we learned things. Gain knowledge. Out of all of these, excavate's kind of useful. The dwarfs are less useful. They're okay. Do I need this stone wall? I don't know. Stone wall's kind of good. I'm gonna take out this one. Cool. Start. Slime transport belt. Move any cube diagonally above and behind this forwards. Rat moves forward quickly. Growth gains one HP. One time per minute climbing. So you could get these like stuck behind a wall and they would get bigger. Leaders phylactery. Before an ally leader takes more than zero damage, negate all of that damage and deal that much damage to this. Cool. What am I doing? I think I'm just getting my warriors out there. I do need them to take a little bit of damage. How much do you do? Three damage. Maybe I should have moved up further. What is this? Sky platform. After this is created, if this wasn't created by a cube with the same name, create a copy to both sides of this. So this created three. And it will always create three. If it has open spaces to the sides. You need to take damage. This is going to fly forward. That. Shooting. After another add-on ally is placed, it gains all other abilities of this. However, this loses add-on and dies. Create a bullet in front. Wait. Are you going to be able to give that to allies? That sounds broken. If so. I'm going to heal you. Cool. 
these are gonna zoom. Wait, can I ever get past that? I don't know. I needed that to hit me. <laughs> okay, that bullet just got stuck. No, it did not give that bullet ability to allies. I don't understand that one. Okay, this is gonna keep moving me back, I think. It's gonna stack me in weird ways. Okay, we did get past it. Kind of. If I get enough of these, I should be able to get past. This lets me change my order. Okay, right now I don't think I can ever get past. That's fine. Well, with just these. What are you gonna build up here that scares me? Don't know. Keep making more reinforcements. Here, these ones can go up here so that they're closer. This one did get by, and that's my one with HP. It will end up getting healed. If it gets healed by the champion, then it could get regen. It did get regen. I don't feel like this enemy is doing all that much to me. These are kind of interesting, though. Phylactery. Phylactery? Yeah, that word. I might want to heal this one. I do have 59 though. I could get more. This one's gonna get destroyed pretty quick unless I stay on top of healing it. Wait. Okay, we're good. Why does it say minus two? I thought it was minus three before. I guess not. Oh, this heals... I don't know. I do not know. Okay. Does it heal to the side and below? There's weird stuff happening. Bottom line. I think I get to destroy this. I totally do. Easy game. My knights are strong. We are a healer. Oh, I didn't even try the lava thing. The lava thing might destroy me. Missile. Um, seven damage missile for ten. A little bit tempting. Sky platform. What if I build a sky platform with lava? Okay, charging. Three seconds. Moves forward. Every two seconds. Deal two damage to every touching enemy in neutral. After this kills an enemy, 50% chance to create a copy of this in the enemy's place. That actually sounds really good. Huh. Because if I raise this one's max HP, then I can create copies with more egg HP. Hmm. To every touching enemy and neutral. Melly. It's between the sky platform, which is flying. 6 HP. Or this. I think I'm going to take this. Where are we at? We are right here. Do I want this one? I don't really want to lose the life. Let's go here. Investment firm. Investment. Increase your gold by 20% at most plus 100. Reduce re-roll costs by 20. Increase shop price variation by 20%. So, I could gain 12. Or, reduce re-roll. I don't plan on re-rolling. We'll gain 12. Maybe I should be re-rolling, but I don't know what I'm looking for. After your stone dies, add a free rough gravel cube to your hand. Okay. <laughs> Accurate arrows. Every minute, a random allied leader deals two damage to every enemy leader. Every minute. Tiny fire shield. Every second, your starting leader deals two damage to all enemies in a shield area in front of it. I don't know what that shield area means. I think I'm going to do this one. But I don't particularly value that one. Next up, 
Select your cubes. I want the crab. Do I want it more than the fly? I think the stone can leave. Wait, can I get rid of the stone? Locked. Does not take up a deck slot. Got it. What if I just get rid of the dwarf and get a crab instead? Because crab is like dwarf, except potentially better and way cheaper. Start. What do you do? Shield generator. Every two seconds, create a shield in front. Okay. If I place multiple crabs, they can hurt themselves. And if I kill the crabs, 50% chance to create... Oh, that's only enemy. That's when it kills an enemy. Huh. They can't climb. Here, let's just... I can build five of these right now. Bam. Bam. They do move forward, right? Every three seconds, so they move forward very slowly. But they're amazing. What the hell are you? Tunnel bore. Um, deal damage to every touching enemy and neutral. Every 1.5 seconds. After this kills a cube, more move forward. Understood. This one. Can I heal to the side? It looks like it's only below. I would like to save this one. I think it just depends if we move forward in time. Okay, we did move forward in time. So this thing. Huh. Charges forward, tunnel bore. I do have to deal with that. What if I get the lava generator? 30 mana. Toothy barrier. Regen. Retaliate. Deals damage back. Okay. Lava gargoyle. I'm going to put this right here. See what that does. How long does it take? 30 seconds. That's a problem. This thing will already be messing with me in that amount of time. But if I could fight this thing from behind it, I'd be set. Three seconds. To fight from behind it, I have to put like a barrier keeping myself from moving forward. I could build on top of it. Right? I don't know. Let's try it. Okay, I got destroyed. Every touch... Yeah, that makes sense. Never mind. How long do we have before lava? Doesn't tell me. Oh, it does show it. I think this is a problem. Unless you end up scooting forward, but that's still a problem. Did scoot forward. You're gonna destroy my lava thing. I could have healed it. What is this? Decay bolt. Poisonous. Okay. Non ally. I don't have enough healing right now. At all. Some of these crabs became large, though. I'm kind of worried. This tunnel bore might just solo me. I guess this should take it out. Never mind. My champion can take it out. Okay. Can my champion take it out? Totally. That does mean that my healing is now going to go to the leader for a while. Lava Gargoyle. 
this thing gives max HP to you like crazy. I have 41 mana. We know that this takes a while to generate. I don't know exactly how lava works. Let's figure it out. You create shields. Holy. <laughs> Liquid moves sideways randomly every second, colliding non liquid. Swap through this cube instead. Acidic. One damage to all touching cubes with different names, including the generator. Okay, it cannot beat rock. Armored. Before this takes. Da okay. Burrowed. Because it's armored, the lava cannot hurt it. So the lava should take that thing out, maybe? I don't know. It attacks very quick. You can't climb up, so regardless, you should be... Well, no, because it could do damage to this rock. Okay, I have a whole bunch of mana. What do I want to do with it? I have regen. I kind of just want the one that does random damage, I think, which costs a hundred. I'm gonna get that, put that back here. Okay, that boar defeated me. That is a problem. Here comes a missile, which is gonna put poison on me if I can't block it. I could block it. Huh. Put a crab down. Put that down. Okay, so this thing. I do have to fight this thing. My crabs. How are my crabs doing? I kind of want to heal the crabs. Reality anchor. Can't move. 99 mana. Okay. I could heal more of the crabs if I could drop a heal right here. They're gaining max HP. do have to figure this stupid thing out. 4 HP. The problem is that this thing one-shots this. My champion can take you out again. I need healers, though. It's gonna kill my thing! Trying to recover. Okay, somehow I killed that. Oh, right, because I do random damage whenever I heal and I just healed a bunch. Okay, so more healers. Healers would be good. My army of crabs is making their way over. Right, when I kill enemies, I duplicate my crabs. And they have a little bit of regen, which means I should be doing more shrines of recovery. Okay, but if I just get more healers, that would help too. Especially because they'll keep the crab army healed. Wait. Only enemy. It doesn't work with neutral. Why does it work with these stone blocks? What are you doing? Generate mana. It felt like this put out like a giant circle. Who knows? Okay, this boar thing scares the crap out of me. But maybe by healing, I can kill it. Maybe. I don't see another good solution. A fly is a good way to negate the lava. If I put a fly down right here, the lava would never be able to get past it. Huh. And then if I put the lava generator on top of the fly, it should just be able to flood this with lava. But then what? I don't know what after that. Once you get near me, I'm gonna heal. As much as I don't wanna use my energy here. How is this doing? That's doing way too well. Oh, is it only when I heal non-allies? Ally heals, random damage. You're an ally. I 
think I should win. But it's close. Those boars are just very strong. It's every five heals. Okay. That's about to go off. It did go off. I did a bunch... Wait, does this say... T no, just random enemy. My crabs are still doing stuff. Shield congealer. Flying. That's what a shield is. Okay, I'm getting heals. That's the main thing. More heals. With enough heals, I feel good. We can do this. Oh, now I can't even heal my champion because I put that on top of me. All right. So fly. Fly doesn't seem great. It only costs 20. It's armored. I feel like fly is one of my only chances. And then I just heal it as it takes damage before it dies. So I have to save mana to heal it. Unless I was going to try putting the lava on top of it. But I can't do that. It's already too late. How are you doing? You're very strong. The problem is, I don't know how I'm doing damage to this. Just healing the fly doesn't seem like a good strategy. But it's all I got. All I got. How are you doing? You did get hurt for five there. At least the fly takes reduced damage. That's the main reason for building it. And I can't currently heal my champion. If I built the fly over one, I wonder if putting this here would have healed them both. Because it feels like it does do that. Okay, now I'm out of mana. That is a problem. And I have not come close to this. We are trying to get my crabs over here. The crabs do very little damage. Two damage. <laughs> very little. I think I've lost. I have definitely lost. I need bigger heals. Hmm. If I had like a super fly, maybe. I think the lava and the fly might be a combination though. I just didn't realize it in time. I thought for a second that was me defeating it. That does not heal me. Hmm. Okay. 23 out of 29. And I don't have the thing that can dig down. I got rid of that. I lose. We're down to one HP. Defeat! Both times I lost to the boss fight. Go to a shop. I have 72. 100 to get plus one deck size, which I could use. Energy generation. This gains 20 energy every minute. What is energy? Before this d dies, create snow above a random enemy or snow cube. Where the position above is empty. Repeat for every energy on this. That's kind of interesting. Charred gren grenadier. Gren grenadier. Yes. Grenadier. Every five seconds, create an arcing grenade projectile above this. Ooh, that sounds good. Moves forward. Melee damage. Five regen. Explodes before it dies. This thing, it does cost 40, but it sounds kind of good. I can't really fit it in my deck. Shrapnel. After a non-leader enemy takes three or more damage, create one damage shrapnel projectile above that enemy, which arcs slightly before falling. That sounds amazing. Consumable. Lose a deck slot and gain 70 gold. Consumable. Only works in battle. For every 10 gold or debt you have, 
summon a spider. Ink pen. Before an ally grants an ability to an ally, 50% chance it also grants that ability to another random non-leader. I'm just going to take this one. Cool. Leave. Curse of Attention. Placed enemies gain one extra HP for each 100 gold. Crap, these are curses. Got it. I don't have gold. But still, these curses could suck. Is this forever? Curse of Abandonment. Every three seconds, if there are no non-leader ally, every allied leader deals three damage to itself. If there is no non-leader ally, I think I like that. Everyone. Start of each map. Suffer two wounds at the start of battle. In hand and battlefield deal two damage to themselves, then lose one wound. This one sounds good. Taking damage for the champion isn't the worst. All right. Next time, we're continuing on and see how long I can last with one HP and negative five consequences for now. That does it for this episode. Thanks for watching.